Hey, hope you guys are doing well. Edgar from Solo Marketer here. And in this video, I want to quickly show you how to change the URL paths or AKA slugs um, in system.io and also where you can change them. And also some of the more common do's and don'ts, some of the mistakes that people make. And I'm just going to quickly show you what the most common ones are and some, some good naming conventions as well. So obviously the most common place where you want to change your slug or URL path is under funnels. If you click on a funnel, well, before you click on a funnel, obviously, Oftentimes people ask, where can you change the domain for this specific funnel? Because sometimes they get the, the default one, the system.io one, but they want to change it to their custom domain. So next to the funnel settings, right? They can drop down and just uh, select their domain. So that's kind of uh, before we tackle the slugs or the URL paths, you can change the domain here on a funnel level. And then as you click on the funnel, you can see for each page, it has a uh, its own uh slug right so these obviously these don't duplicate like if it's fbb here it cannot be fbb here it has to be something different so the way you can easily change it is you just kind of type it in here whatever it is opt-in page right you can just type it in and as soon as you like you finish typing and as soon as you click away it just automatically saves it uh, a couple important things to note is obviously you can't keep it clean that's that's there's only one case where you can do it and I'll show it to you afterwards. And also you are not allowed to do caps lock because it's going to tell you this value is not valid. Why? No idea. But turns out it's case sensitive over here. Although in real life situations you can do, you know, if you do opt in and then you you type it in as uh, with caps lock and you're like up at the top, uh, it's not going to be, it's not going to make a difference, right? But here it's case sensitive for whatever reason. Um, also, another thing is you cannot do space. So you can't do this. It's kind of obvious, but just wanted to let you know that this, it cannot be empty. It's going to tell you no, right? So common way to do it is obviously you can do one word, but it looks kind of messy. I would do the dash or the hyphen or whatever you call it. That's kind of one of the most common ways to do it. Or uh, also, if, if it's like one or two words, keep it short, uh, do it like this. If it's like three, four, five, six words, uh, you can also do an acronym. Like instead of doing, for one of my pages, instead of doing funnel builder bundle, right? Instead of doing that, I just do FBB. Simple as that, right? So keep it short. If it's really long and it's just like letters and numbers and whatever, it just looks spammy, it looks messy. So I would try to keep it as simple as possible like this. So this is where funnel pages and obviously each page has its own link, right? This one, FBB, thank you page, right? So that's kind of for yourself, you can do FBB, thank you. FBB uh, for this one would be opt for often, opt-in rather, or LP for landing page, right? You can just keep it short and separate them with the dash. So that's for funnel pages. Also blogs, AKA websites, you can change your slugs or, or URL paths here as well. So this one is like the overall, like the website, the blog level. So this is the blog itself. Uh, and here I would keep it clean settings. You keep it clean. This is the website where they land. Ideally, you want to have a website, right? It's not mandatory, but you want to have one, even if it's a simple one. And you point them to this. If they type in like domain.com, this is where they're going to land, right? And that's going to be the, if you click on it, that's going to be the home page under pages over here, right? That's why you cannot change anything over here. This is just the page and that's it. There's no slash anything, no URL path. Uh, this one you can change under pages, the home page. Uh, and also page list page, uh, sorry, post list page. Uh, for whatever reason, I honestly can't tell you, but you are not allowed to change the URL path. It just gives you slash posts and that's it. As for the other ones, you create more pages, about us, contact, I don't know, testimonials, whatever you might have on your navigation bar and they can you know check resources. That's another one, common one. Settings, you can easily change it, right? You can do instead of contact us, you can do contact, but here you have to save. So click on save. Don't forget that. Uh, and the last thing is under posts, these are the blog posts, right? You have your every time you post it and then you can go to settings, same thing. Let's go to settings and then it gives you this whole long thing, right? And then you can name it, whatever your naming convention is, I would try to keep it as con consistent as possible. It's gonna be easier for yourself as well, but that's the short version of it. Just to recap, uh, keep it short. Keep it clean, no random letters and whatever it gives you by default sometimes. No spaces, use dashes, uh, no caps lock as well. 
and I think that kind of covers it. So yeah, if you have any questions, comment below. Also, there's a couple of free funnel templates you can check out, completely free. Come with instructional videos. Uh, I have a sales page, a landing page. Those are obviously system.io. Those, yeah, come with like a the, the page template itself, explainer video, like a welcome email. I think one of them had like a course template and I show you how to connect everything together. So go check those out. Those are pretty cool. Hundreds of people have benefited from them already. So you just, yeah, go check those out. There's no extra cost to you. But yeah, questions below. If you don't have any questions, I will see you in the next video. Bye.